Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new, my name is Jessica Alexandria. I'm the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary and I'm a professional tarot, intuitive, and astrologer. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the new moon that's happening in the sign of Libra on October 16th, 2020. I have the chart pulled up for 12.08 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The reason why I do that is because I pull the charts myself. I don't reference any outside sources, and I use astro.com to pull all of my charts. And I'm saying that because I get asked that so much. In today's video, I'm going to be not only pulling the chart and showing you what I'm seeing and what I'm pulling from looking at the chart of the moment for the Libra New Moon, but I also have the tarot cards here and I have three oracle decks, I believe, that I'll be working with and I'll link them down below in the comments and also in the description box. So let's go ahead and dive in. This new moon, I can say right away, is a game changer. All right, all of 2020 we know has been energetically ridiculous. We know that, we know that. We're all in the same boat, no matter what our beliefs are, no matter what's going on in our personal lives, every single one of us, I guarantee you, is trying to navigate through some highly tumultuous seas, okay? The ocean waves are kicking up, and we are doing our best to paddle and to go along with it. About a year and a half ago, maybe two years now, I was predicting and sharing with the world, you know what, buckle up. The rest of the world was saying, you know, 20, 2020 was going to be our year. That's one thing that everyone keeps saying. 2020 is going to be my year. New year, new me. And then when 2020 comes in and starts really rocking things up, there are people who are shocked and appalled and feel disappointed and defeated. But really what 2020 is doing is it's breaking down the foundations and the systems that were set into place the world that is that we know it, our world that is that we know it, how things, how we, I get, it's not that we would have ideally kept things the way that they are, it's the fact that it's human nature sometimes to stay with the status quo. We have a tendency to choose comfort, not realizing and recognizing that um, sometimes to step outside of your comfort zone and to have things shook up is the best thing for us. It will literally put us on the path to our highest potential, to our highest good. The divine, the universe is always looking out for us, you guys, always looking out for us. And if you can lift your anchor and allow yourself to flow with what is happening, you will always be put in the right place at the right time. The universe and the planets and divine timing is all about positioning. It's all about planting your feet in or placing your feet and strengthening your feet so that you can be again at the right place at the right time and using your discernment that's all you need to focus on that's all you need to concentrate on is your discernment your ability to choose to be able to successfully choose the right things that are a match a vibrational match for you and your highest uh, highest good and your highest desires what does that have to do with the new moon in Libra right well Libra of course it is the planet I'm sorry, of course it's a sign that's connected to relationships, but more than that, what's standing out to me with the energy of Libra is the space of harmony and alignment. What does that mean? Well, that means that, you know, what are we energetically aligning ourselves with? What are we trying to um, connect with? What are we trying to build with? What are we trying to, um, you know, create a union with? This is not just relationships. However, me as an astrologer and as a spiritual teacher, I look at everything as a relationship. So if you need to apply this in, the, in your life when it comes to your intimate relationships, your family relationships, um, your friendships or connections, fine. But it could be your relationship with the internet. It could be, that's 11th house matters. It could be your relationship with how you take care of your body. It could be your relationship with your shadow self. It could be your relationship with your car. You know, there's so many things that this, um, how this energy will find, you know, find the ways to uh, reveal itself. Because ultimately, at the end of the day, that's all that we're working with is energy. That's why astrology is so important. That's why it's so important that you do listen to astrologers, trusted astrologers, trusted professional astrologers to help explain to you in a way that you can understand what the energy is that we are currently working on. 
So at the time of the Libra new moon, that entire day and the days around it are gonna be focusing on, are, are giving you the opportunity to focus on what are you trying to align with? What are you trying to build with? Why build? Because Jupiter, Pluto, and Saturn, all of these major planets have been moving and navigating through the sign of Capricorn. Capricorn rules business, longevity, um, establishment, government, commitments, and those things, right? So it's really about the long haul. Jupiter, Pluto, and Saturn, although they're the external planets, they're the planets that are furthest away from us, sometimes we think that, or there's a lot of people that who believe that because they're so far removed from us that they don't impact our personal lives, when in reality, it's these planets that are creating the most heavy damage. When I say damage, I mean they're the ones that are creating the most massive shifts, the most major shifts that are not only going to be temporary, we're not gonna just feel them temporary, we're gonna feel them for the rest of our lives. So this structural damage that's happening and that's been occurring is literally there to um, create a permanent foundational change that will impact you and affect you for the rest of your life. Some of you guys are hiding. This is what just jumped out as I was saying this. Seven of Swords, Three of Swords. You guys have really been hiding from these, these um, uh, changes. Some of you guys are actually nervous when you hear the word permanent. Because again, there's this um, space where you're like, okay, well, this is all I've known it to be. This is, if this is all that I know it to be, then this is all, that this is what makes me feel comfortable. But being comfortable doesn't actually mean that you're safe. Being comfortable doesn't mean that you are thriving. It could mean that you are only solely surviving. So at the time of the, the Libra new moon, the, the, the new moon itself, sun and moon sitting in the sign of Libra is squaring Jupiter, squaring Pluto, squaring Saturn, sitting in the sign of Capricorn. This triggers these placements that have been occurring, this transit that has been occurring for over a year and then some, because Pluto's been in uh, Capricorn since I think like 2017. I don't have my calendar pulled up, but um, and I have so many dates in my head, you guys, it's crazy. But it triggers these transits. It triggers the energy of what you have been working on, whether you've been happy to work on it or not. You know, it triggers these aspects of yourself that you're just like, wow, I'm exhausted. And can I continue on? Can I keep up? The answer is yes. But it's really about you calling into question, okay, what and who am I aligning with? What energies am I aligning with? Especially when it comes to long haul, um, you know, energy building. If it doesn't make you feel good, if it feels toxic, if it feels draining, if it, it's this repeating cycle that just keeps showing up in the same way and, and isn't showing any signs of improvement, you have to ask yourself, why am I choosing to align with this? Why do I choose to become a victim to this? Why do I choose to accept this? Why am I allowing this? Why do I allow... Why do I stay in a space to think these thoughts that are so toxic to my being, to my core, right? Why, why? Because, why am I saying this? Because also Chiron, the wounded healer, is retrograding the sign of Aries. Also, Mars, the planet of drive and ambition and how we move um, and our force, our willpower is also retrograde in the sign of Aries, directly opposing the new moon. What does this mean? This means that some of you guys are afraid to look within yourself. Some of you guys are hesitant to redefine yourself in a way that is accurate to the core nature of your true being. All right, and when you refuse to do that, it diminishes your ability to understand your own value. Aries is the sign of I am, and Libra wants to partner. It wants to focus on the other. So there is this call this judgment call, really. I'm surprised we don't have the judgment card here, but we've only just started shuffling. But there's this judgment call that says to you, Christina, or um, Carlos, or Jackie, how have you been exchanging your power over to other people and asking them to call the shots for you? Some of you guys are like, well, Jess, I can't relate to that because I am independent, I am working on self-love, but sometimes how you exchange your power is your emotional reactivity to certain things 
Why is this? Because Chiron, again, is the wounded healer. It rules the aspects within ourselves that all of us have that are deep-rooted, sometimes set from childhood, sometimes from past lives, that no matter how hard we strive to become better people and to heal ourselves, we have this Achilles tendon that gets us, that catches us up off guard. And when that point within our spirit, within our body, within our hearts, our minds, or our physical body is triggered, we lock up and we, and we react, we lash out. So sometimes it's not so much what other people are doing, sometimes it's this habitual reaction that, is that you have to something that triggers you. So at the time of the Libra New Moon, this Libra New Moon says, listen, you know, when this thing happens or when this thing sets you off or this thing tr triggers you, how are you reacting to it? How do you lash out? How do you work to protect yourself? Is it something that is actually constructive to your well-being? Some of you guys, and I'm learning this also too, uh, 2020 and 2019 has been the year for me, the years of forgiveness. Kept coming up everywhere in my life. And I was like, I've forgiven everything. I've forgiven everyone, right? Um, and I really had to sit with myself and look at how forgiveness actually started for me um, and, and was groundbreaking for me and examining the wound, the space that hurt me initially and how when I see aspects of that happening in my present life, in the present moment, I react in a way that is to protect the, the, the past Jessica, the past self. And what happens when we do that is that we keep operating from this space of reaction to what had already occurred and it blocks current blessings because we're expecting what happened in the past to happen in the present and we build with the present, you know, our future. And that becomes a problem. So when Chiron is retrograde, this wounded aspect um, within ourselves, within the sign of Aries, and Aries wants to do, it wants to achieve, it wants to accomplish, um, and, and then Mars ruling Aries is also in the sign of Aries and retrograde directly opposing this new moon directly squaring Jupiter Pluto and Saturn and then we have Uranus the planet of uh, erratic changes and disruptions but is also thinking about the future but is also retrograde in the sign of Taurus this is creating instability now what I don't want you guys to do is to get triggered by this and say to yourselves you know, I am trying to do better, but I don't have the tools. I want you guys to realize that, again, it's what I said in the very beginning of this video. It's in, it's in the details of what you choose and what you do every day. It starts off small. Oh my goodness, how beautiful is this? We have the Nine of Cups and we have the Hanged Man reversed. This is the energy of surrender to the will of the universe, surrender to your own desires, surrender to the, the tiny bits of chocolate within your day that make it all worth it, that make it all worthwhile. Some of you guys are really so stuck on this grand picture, okay? Especially with Jupiter in the sign of Capricorn, we cannot help but to see this big picture of what we want our lives to ultimately look like and then get overwhelmed because we're not there yet. Okay, but again, at the time of the Libra New Moon, it's about breaking it down into smaller pieces, smaller chunks. It's about merging the logical, practical, tangible, tactile aspects of our lives with the spiritual, with the concepts, with this imaginative energy, and merging the both of those worlds together in order to create your, your reality, in order to co-create your reality with the universe. At the time of the new moon, I want to see you guys spending um, additional time, really taking the time out for yourself. Okay, be selfish with this time. Really take the time out with the unit, with the universe. Okay, the hangman just jumped right off my desk, so that is a sign all by itself. But to co-create with the universe this nine of cups energy, what it is that you want, truly want, and see for yourself. The other thing that's standing out to me with this card is the element of water. The element of um, emotions here, especially as I'm thinking about this, you know, Mercury is now retrograde in the sign of Scorpio. Mercury is squaring off with the vertex point, the point of fate and encounters, and also it's opposing Uranus, the planet, again, of uh, erratic changes and disruptions for the sake of our future, for the sake of switching things up for our highest and greatest good. If it wasn't for Uranus, we'd be set in our ways. And with Uranus sitting in the sign of uh, Taurus, what we value and what we cherish is, cherish is being changed. Some of you guys are 
you used to think that money could buy happiness or it makes life way easier but then you started making money you start realizing like the more money that you make the more responsibilities that is that you have and the more burdens you take on and then you have to kind of restructure as you are growing or you think that relationships or family dynamics look a certain way and then you realize that you know as you start manifesting and that that's not going to make you happy or you guys realize like okay all i want to do is travel but really what you're doing is you're running away from certain stuff so literally everyone is so different but with uranus sitting in the sign of taurus definitely retrograde it's redefining and disrupting what is valuable to you and what you define is valuable what comforts you what what supports you you are also realizing that it is okay for you to ask for more um it is okay for you to want more it's okay for you to want to be generous some of you guys are learning how to be generous in different ways all right some of you guys are learning how to ask for help some of you guys are learning how to rest to recuperate to recover and how how productive that is so at the time of this um libra new moon i want you guys to be really selfish and to think and redefine what is really going to add substance to you, what your spirit truly needs, um, especially with the Nine of Cups here. What is What are the cups that are going to create this happily ever after aspect for you? And you want to go into a really deeper space. What is missing? Take your time with defining that. Take your time with examining it, with seeing it. I want you guys to also respect the process. Some of you guys are really energetically beating up on yourself. You're beating up on how far you've come. You've but you're beating up on each other. With the sun and moon squaring off with Pluto and Saturn and Jupiter, this is a heightened level of emotional, verbal, spiritual, physical violation. Okay? It's something is somewhere is pushing on on, into your energy something somewhere is pushing into your energy fields and you are resisting okay so this is when you have to ask yourself okay what is it that I'm trying to align with is it for my highest and greatest good does it make me feel good does it make me feel does this feel toxic does this feel draining and if it does you got to create distance between you and it for the sake of you for the sake of your well-being and pour back into yourself redefine relationships redefine your day-to-day -day life while you're doing that, um, I'm seeing you guys rebuilding and redefining a new plan that is more appropriate, is the word that's coming through, that's more appropriate to what you can do in taking it step by step, baby steps, okay? So everyone's going to have different um, needs when it comes to your intention. Again, this is a general reading. I'm not, this isn't a one-on-one -on -one reading uh, for, for you, even though a lot of times it feels like it because we're all working on the same energies. Um, so I can't tell you how to set intention. I'm not going to tell you how to set intention. I want you to be able to do it for yourself. Um, but if you really take that time out, you can really, this is a really game-changing moment. I mean, you guys, we have so many of the faded planets here. We have the part of fortune or the faded points. We have the part of fortune getting triggered by Neptune, by Mars, by Venus in uh, Venus in Virgo, by the new moon itself. We have the North Node getting triggered by Mars retrograde, by Neptune retrograde, by the, the new moon itself. We have the vertex point also getting triggered. The vertex point is a point of faded encounters sitting in the sign of Leo, asking you and telling you, what does your heart truly want? How do you, are you confident enough to receive it? This just came out and stood out to me, the magic stream. It's about this energy of the collective, okay? We're all under the same realms of energy, under the same waves, just kind of feeling it and vibing with it, right? We have Mercury retrograde squaring off with a vertex point. So there's the uh, communication is really highlighted here, what we hear, what we think, what we, what we say. And also uh, Uranus retrograde in the sign of Taurus, squaring off with it, creating some you know, these messages that are coming through, these ideas, these revelations are game changing. They're life changing, especially with the vertex point here. It could change in the course of a blink of an eye. It's very miraculous is what's coming through. All right, you guys. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start breaking down the Oracle Oracle cards so that we can have a pick a card reading moment because I know how much you guys love it. And I've actually been loving doing it, too, as well. I'm not going to lie. Um, but in the meantime, before we even dive into the pick a card readings, um, I really want you guys to co connect with 
um, the crystals, which I'll show you in just a moment, but exactly what is that you need to hear for the new moon. But I also want to invite you to subscribe to the YouTube, ch YouTube channel, this YouTube channel, because there's plenty more videos where this came from. I upload every week and very soon we will be going live once again for Astro Chat Live at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every week. Okay, it's a lot, but it, it gives so much, and I love doing it, so it's, it's easy for me to be able to do it. And then if you are interested in diving deeper into your studies of tarot, deeper, esoteric symbolism, astrology, numerology, your own intuition, you are more than welcome to check out the Sacred Circle Tarot School, which is um, run by me, and... Uh, live videos, live streaming that we do every Tuesday, 7 p.m., and uh, the ability to interact and engage with an awesome, awesome, uh, intimate circle, okay? The links for all of those and all of that will be down below in the description box. Until then, let's go ahead and break it down into the Oracle deck of Pick a Card Reading. I'll show you the crystals in just a moment, and then I'll meet you guys in, in the timestamps. All right, my loves. So if you chose the Buckeye, this is your Oracle reading. And the Oracle cards that I will be working with will be linked down below in the description box. So first things first, we have the oh Strength card. We have Storm Fields. We have Share the Message of Love. Ooh. We have open your third eye, and as I am putting these cards out, I'm hearing the word protection. Uh, I'm also hearing clarity, the word clarity, and I'm reminded of the energy of discernment. I'm hearing the word cycles and completion. I'm hearing uh, lessons. Okay, past life issues. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense with the word cycles. Law of attraction. Then we have five of wands reversed, ten of swords, and five of pentacles. So if you chose the buckeye, this is actually um, a seed that is used for protection and it's also for strength, personal strength, right? Through adversity. So, or that's how I use it. What's coming through to me, you guys, is I feel as though, um, especially when we have the planet here, she's holding on to the planet, and we have the house. So it's showing me that this pile, you guys have been going through a lot. There's, again, everyone's going through tumultuous energy, but spirit right now is highlighting your journey and how things have been disruptive. Energy has been disruptive. Um, in your life. It has been disrupted and it has been disruptive. Spirit is saying, really highlighting the space that not everybody deserves your time, your energy, and your attention. Um, I'm also hearing, speaking of attention, pay attention to detail. What the, it's these smaller details, you guys, that you guys are picking up on, but you keep trying to pass by it and and say to yourself, like, okay, well, you keep trying to justify it when in reality, you know, you, you have to call a spade a spade. It is what it is. The energy that a person or a thing brings into your life, it's clearly saying something to you. Whether, no matter what the intention is, you may, I feel like some of you guys are so focused on trying to see with your physical eyes um, what something or some someone's intention is or where it's going to go and how it's going to play out that you are ignoring the fact that your third eye, your intuition is speaking to you very, very clearly and telling you certain things that you are trying to avoid. You're trying not to hear and you're trying to justify it. There's this word of justifying. Okay, um, with the Ten of Swords and the Five of Pentacles here, I don't even, I mean, I don't even want to look at the Five of Wands reversed right now because... Not that it's not important because it is, but Spirit is really calling me to be like, listen, there's certain things that need to be put on the chopping block. Once you do that, <clears throat> especially at the time of the new moon in Libra, you are going to open your energy up because your energy is going to start feeling better. Your vibrational, your vi your, the vibration that you're putting out is going to change and shift because you're no longer entertaining and engaging with people that are not of a positive 
role model for you. Meaning not that you're trying to follow in their footsteps, but you're trying to align with them and they don't have the same path as you. They don't have the same core values as you. So they're not going to treat you in the way that you would treat others. I'm hearing this word of, um, or the sentence where someone says, I would never do that to you, or I would never do that. This is how I would have done it. And that's the thing is that <clears throat> whether it's they're doing it right or wrong or whether they are right or wrong, it's just a matter of there's a, a vibrate vibrational mismatch. And then instead of you guys accepting it and recognizing it and putting it in, on the chopping block and allowing it to just be what it is, you keep trying to justify it and rationalize it and it's starting to, to diminish where you can go, what you should be doing, how you should be growing, how you should be prosperous. Some of you guys are really caught in this idea of safety. This is where I'm safe. This is what I'm used to things looking like. This is where I'm used to things being or people from the past, um, think situations of the past keep presenting themselves in new ways, repeating, or you're allowing them in and engaging with them when really you kind of have to be leaving them out in the cold, so to speak, letting them figure it out, letting them make the decision that is, that is that they're inevitably going to make and you need to fly free. When you do that, you guys, you are going to, I feel like you need this deck right now. Because Spirit is telling me right now that I'm sounding harsh. <laughs> and I feel that. I feel that, you guys. Um, sometimes, you know, these spiritual messages, they can be harsh on the energy. They tell us exactly what it is that we need to hear. But if you're in a vulnerable space right now and you're trying to protect, that actually makes sense now. The message of love. Share the message of love right now is really standing out to me right now. Spirit is really saying, listen, Jess. You said what you said to, to them to help them right now, but now let's switch up the energy. So it, literally spirit just interrupted me and I get it. So we're going to switch it up. I feel like, I think you're the only pile that's going to receive this type of message. Yeah, my loves, listen, we have, oh, see, spirit wants you to enjoy the fruits and the sweetness and the nectar of what life brings. This group is a pile that has been so stuck in becoming their highest and greatest version with doing this energetic work with being the bigger person with going above and beyond taking these extra steps these extra measures in order to make sure that everyone else is uncomfortable to the point where they are no longer uncomfortable or to the point where they are no longer comfortable and spirit is saying listen we want you to have sweetness in your life we want you to feel butterflies in your belly we want you to be excited we want you to feel not only i just heard the word companionship mm, 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 mm. Whether you're in a relationship or you're single, Spirit is saying that they want you to know that you are so loved, you are so supported, and that you have companionship. This means that you are with people who are like-minded, that you can have fun with, that are a vibe, vibrational match with you, and it's going to make life sweeter. It's going to make life more fun. It's going to make life more juicy, more ripe. Set intention for um, new partnerships, new friendships, and new butterfly feelings in your belly romance having fun call a friend phone a friend someone who makes you laugh something that makes you <clears throat> for some reason i just am seeing someone roller skating like at the park roller skating on a, a or a place where they do it for the the sake of fun i'm seeing someone going on a picnic in central park like it's really <clears throat> if it's not central park it's a park that is very similar i'm seeing someone uh row on a rowboat so it's doing these activities that are very leisure like leisurely and for the sake and the joy and the pleasure of i'm seeing someone apple picking i'm also seeing people shooting pumpkins i saw that on my instagram earlier one of my friends did that with her children i thought it was the cutest thing ever but it's these things that it's like you know i'm also seeing people taking photos doing little photo shoots so it's, th it's things that make that bring that are just fun getting out in nature doing seasonal activities whatever so that's what i'm seeing because this group has look spaciousness this is the card of creating space and distance from the things that no longer serve you so that you can create co-create with the universe again laws of attraction there's something here that you know universe the universe spirit is really inviting you in even as i'm looking at this i see these fish and i see them bringing different levels of abundance and knowledge and certain gifts i'm seeing you surrounding yourself around relationships different people who have different interests that are intriguing to you that you would normally not in um that you might not normally 
do and all of a sudden you're like well you know what maybe I should reach out to this person and say yes to this and you just really you are gonna start having more fun right now the, the spirit definitely wants to invite in the energy of look at this love see how sweet this pile is it's very nectarish very sweet very nectar nectary energy um, very innocent very pure oh, of course the card forgiveness came through of course of course you guys got the word forgiveness self-sufficiency do you see what I'm saying it's all about what do you want what do you like what do you want to do self-acceptance do you see how it's all focused around you it's all about your energy it's all about your happiness and at the base of your reading the deck you have the card of abundance it's showing me just like these fish everything has a little pocket of potential it has a little pocket of information that really wants to give and serve to you Okay, and you focusing on you and you putting yourself as a priority is going to lift your vibration, but it's also going to help you connect into the to the laws of attraction. Okay, when your energy is high and when you know what you want, when you know how you want to feel and you put that out into the universe, the universe responds very, very quickly. I don't know why, but I keep hearing pockets of information and pockets of gifts and talents so every single person on the face of this earth knows something we don't know and can give and contribute uh, contribute to us in ways that we wouldn't expect or that we would be able to give to ourselves so I feel like some of you guys are going to be linking up with people who are a vibrational match for you and it's going to help you to pull out of this look at this you have what it takes you have it, what it takes okay listen always follow your heart unless it's been broken then you must lead it back into love the universe p.s did you know that hearts are never too big to mend too small to rebound or too tired to love again this shows me again that this pile if you chose this card you guys have been in the element of preservation um and protecting yourself which is great but it's almost become detrimental because you're not allowing yourself to enjoy life and to see that life is really a beautiful thing. It really is a beautiful blessing. You know, you you guys might be so highly concentrated on healing and recovery. Karma is on your side. What goes around comes around, right? There's a lot of good, good energy and good vibes that want to come to you and want to reach to you. But are you open to receiving it? Law of attraction. Exactly what is it that you want to receive? Exactly what is it that you want to experience? Let's talk about that right okay if you could read all the minds that I read hear all the prayers that I hear and beat all the hearts that I beat I wonder if you'd even believe how often you're thought of talked about and fallen in love with it's payback time on delay on delay the universe so this is about quick quick move move if you only knew how loved you are if you only knew how many things would would say yes to you you would stop focusing on the nose. You would stop focusing on what didn't work out. You would stop focusing on beating yourself up for what you didn't do and start congratulating yourself and celebrating what you did do. That's pretty deep. That's pretty, that's pretty, this is standing out to me right now. Do something new, do something different. <laughs> I love that so much. That makes a lot of sense. Ever notice how it's easier to fall in love and be, in fall, and be fallen in love with when you're busy? See, I'm telling you guys, you're out there skating, you're out there rollerblading or something. Thank goodness I'm you, the universe. You are the universe. Just let that resonate for a second. Thank goodness I'm you. That's the universe saying that to you. That means that you are the universe. The universe is you. You are within the universe. The universe, you are within the universe. The universe is within you. You are all part of the collective energy. So really tap into the realms of law of attraction and you know put that good energy, that good vibe out, those good vibes out there. Ooh, and see what happens, see what comes in, okay? So I hope that makes sense, you guys, um, especially with the Five of Wands here. Now I'll finally say this, Five of Wands is like, stop battling. Why? What are you battling with? What are you battling for? You know, st stop battling. Lower it down and go take a rest for a minute. We have so much going on in the world right now that's very tumultuous and very, you know, uh, it can it's re it's necessary but it can also be draining and spirit is saying you know really take some time out for the flowers to stop and smell the flowers and see what happens and occurs there okay so that's my buckeye pile yes 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 now let's move on to pile number two all right my loves if you chose pile number two this little powerful magnetic baby this is your reading so let's go ahead and start with the oracle cards Ooh, we have sad embrace we have some of you guys are like i'm clicking out don't 
<laughs> we have deep freeze for you we have intention loving it we have ghost lands we have this space of unity we have power animal let me go ahead and read this to you. Your animal spirit guide is a guardian to you and is helping you with this situation. Love that. Then we have the star card, six of wands, and the six of pentacles. So I'm hearing with this, uh, don't cry over spilled milk. Um, definitely with the six of pentacles right now. Some of you guys are stuck in a space where we have six of pentacles, we have six of wands, and then we have the star card. Okay, so some of you guys are really stuck in a space of it didn't work out. Okay, I feel defeated. I feel destroyed. It didn't it didn't play out the way that it was, I wanted it to. It was something that I really had my sight set on and it didn't it didn't pan out. I did this. I dropped the ball here. This I could have done it differently. Stop thinking that. Stop thinking that. Okay, um, I feel as though you need, this is the pile that needs to be reminded that everything comes in divine timing. Nothing comes before it's supposed to. Everything in divine order and divine will, not only for the collective good, but for your highest and greatest good. Spirit is never going to put you in a position, even if you think it would have been the best thing for you, spirit is never going to put you in a position that is going to be harmful to you in any way, shape, or form. That's why it didn't work out. That's why it didn't work out. Six of Wands, everyone celebrates this card, but I call it my PTSD card. I really do. I can't look at this card and not think about what this person has gone through, the journey that has brought them to this point. Okay, there's this heightened space on what you have put out, what you have contributed, how you have given, what, what it took. I'm hearing you have what it takes, but then it brings me to the space of potential. Potential is something that we are not. It's something that we have the potential to be, but we are not there yet. And we cannot hyper-focus our energy on something that is that we're not because it is exhausting to, to try to strive to be that way. Of course, it's good to set our sights on that, especially with the star card. It's all about the potential. It's all about the healing. It's all about where we hope to go, what we hope to achieve, what we hope to happen. But we also need to acknowledge where we're at now currently. When we continue, <clears throat> this is where you know tarot gets very tricky, and this is why I have the Sacred Circle Tarot School, because I teach my students that it's not only about the core meaning of the cards, it's about the symbolism by the, behind the card, it's about the new numerology that goes way deeper than just the core than just these basic um, basic meanings okay with the star card again it's about potential and even though this card is about healing it could also really big time highlight the space of what we are not and that adds and contributes to a space of disappointment and failure this group is really sitting on okay this is what I haven't done yet this is what I haven't achieved yet this is what I haven't accomplished it's so out of my grasp and spirit is saying to stay focused in the present moment right now I want to focus on the power animal here right you guys because animals are so notorious I don't know what your power animal is what your spirit animal is I think I have a video about connecting with your spirit animal on my YouTube channel and if not remind me I will get one up for you guys ASAP Rocky but it's all about, you know, your, your, whatever your power animal is, your spirit animal is, they do not think about the future. They don't think about the past. They think about the present. They think about what's here, what's right now, what they need to do. And that's where it is that they pull their power from is in being in their innate nature, being who they were created to be, who they were designed to be. Um, whatever that is, if you're the crow, if that's your power animal, um, if you're a flamingo, I don't know why birds are coming through right now. If you're a cockatiel, if you're a parrot, I don't know why birds are coming through. If you're an alligator, um, my, my power animal is the skunk, which I was like so disappointed when I found that out. But now it's like the most powerful animal totem that there is, if you ask me. But um, that was one of my first power animals that came through. But if you look at it, you want to examine or observe, be open to observing the birds that are coming through, the messengers that are coming through that are trying to sh share with you um, so that you can come back into alignment with the, the here, the now, the present, okay? So, and then I want you to, to concentrate on what that, pa that pa power animal, that spirit animal's message is for your life. Again, it's not thinking about, okay, I could. this could happen in the future. This has happened in the past. We want to stay in the present moment, and we want to focus on who and what we are now and tap into that deeper because that's where we're going to be able to 
come back into alignment with the universe, come back into alignment with um, blessing. And then from that, that's where you can start setting intention. Look at that. There's the owl right on top. I started seeing birds too. So maybe that's a power animal for someone else. And we also have the lion here. So that's another thing that could be coming through. This big cat. It's all about independence and knowledge and wisdom. Okay. So that's actually what I'm seeing for you guys. You know, that's a message all by itself. I, I did, that's, that, that was easy. <laughs> I hope that makes sense for those of you guys that chose this pile. Really sit with yourself. I feel like your messages are going to come through in your day-to-day -day life. With I, I don't know why I'm seeing birds for you. But um, these like little messengers of God that are going to come through and you're going to, it's going to help you. Or maybe like a lizard or something comes through and, and when you observe that animal, you realize, okay, I need to be, I'm going to take this as inspiration to help me to be the, embody the best of myself right now without me creating damage by projecting myself too far into the future, too far into the past. I got to stay in the present moment. So that's what this new moon, that's the additional message that this new moon has for you. Let's move on to pile number three. All right, my loves, if you chose pile number three, this little blue baby, look how sparkling this little guy is. I'm in love. <laughs> He's just so cute. He's so cute. This is your message. So first card is making a choice. Heal the ouch. Let your inner beauty shine. Uplift your thoughts. Vegetarian slash vegan. Twin flame. And then for your cards, ooh, we have King of Wands, Four of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. <laughs> Yo, I love that. I love that. That's a lot. I almost want to get up and leave. I don't know why. Um, actually, I do know why. Spirit is telling me, okay, move. Legit. Like, Spirit is legit being like, all right, come on. Let's get up. We got to, literally, as I'm thinking about this, making a choice means we are going to make a choice. Time to make a move. Twin flame, you guys. This is your counterpart. This is your mirror reflection. This is, you know, the love of your life. You know, it depends. It could, it could be a relationship, of course. Um, or it could be this mirror and thing that is supposed to be choosing you, that chooses you. We have... Queen of Wands and King of Wands, and together they create their happily ever after with the Four of Wands, which is the card of the Twin Flame for me. Come on. I almost want to get, even as I'm looking at this, what she's doing, getting up from her seat and moving and walking, is what I want to do right now. I don't even want to do this reading for you guys because I want to get up and move because that in itself is the message. It's like, pick yourself up, get out there, get active. Okay, some of you guys are really... I feel like you're waiting. I feel like you guys are waiting or you're waiting for something or someone and spirit is like, go, move. This isn't a, a, a threat. <laughs> Some of you guys are, you get so concerned when it's like, okay, release, let go, surrender, move. But this is about getting active. It's about engaging. It's about finding what is attracted to you and what is attractive to you and just taking that leap of faith, that, that plunge and just be like, let's do this. Let's do this. Some of you guys are really focusing on higher vibrational living, higher vibrational relationships, higher vibrational jo jobs and careers. Spirit is saying the time is now, okay? Especially at the time of the new moon <clears throat> in the sign of Libra. This is, in the end, I think it was um, the North Node. I can't remember because I have my uh, thing. I got to pull it up for you. I have to. Um, I think it's the North Node sitting in the sign of Gemini. Just a minute. Gemini rules the lovers. Yep, North Node in the sign of Gemini. This is about where it is that you're meant to align with. Who it is that you're meant to partner up with. <clears throat> finding your counterpart, finding your match, finding your twin. Or they are finding you. But they can't find you if you're hiding. You can't. They can't find you if you're... The other thing is that I'm, I'm seeing you guys, your twin flame, your counterpart, or this other thing that is a vibrational match for you, that is meant to be for you, is saying that there are some changes, some lifestyle changes and shifts that you need to make right now. Get up and do it. Okay? So in order... And that's the thing with your twin flame is that when you make the move or they're making a move, you guys feel it within each other. So if you are not making steps, if you're not stepping up to your higher calling, if you're not heeding this wisdom, heeding this, ma this major change, then your twin flame will not choose you. 
it's looking, they're looking for you, they want you, whether it's a career or whatever, this is also why heal the ouch is here, I believe, is because there's certain aspects within your life that you need to step into, that you need to start implementing now so that your twin flame can be like, okay, I literally jog, not me, guys, I don't like running. If you see me running, then you need to run because something is chasing me or shit's going down, okay? I don't run, this is just an example. But if the, your twin flame is like, listen, I jog or I run every morning on the beach at this time and you, know in your spirit you feel in your spirit that you should be jogging and there's this one spot that you should be going to but you are just like no i'll do it tomorrow literally heal the aspect of yourself that is resistant to that change that would be uplifting to your energy and get out there spirit says move now it's going to be healing also food is me medicine and food is wisdom so there's some energy here that is really speaking to you and talking to you it's a vibrational match to you especially with uplift your thoughts it's about uplifting your energy. It's about uplifting yourself. Not only spiritually, not only mentally, emotionally, but physically. Pick yourself up, get up, and go. Why are you still sitting here listening to me talk? Like, literally, get off the YouTube right now. Literally, that's your message. Whatever it is that you guys need to do is what you need to do. Hold on. I feel like I can shuffle an additional card for you. Yes. What is it? Let's talk about it. Everyone's going to be different. I'm a little cautious about shuffling for you guys right now. But with the making a choice card, it's literally about choosing the fact that you are going to do better for yourself so that you are an actual vibrational match to the very thing that is that you're synchronizing and harmonizing with at the time of the Libra new moon. And Libra is all about harmony, partnership, and balance. This, I mean, your reading is so clear. I don't even feel like I need to continue on and carry on. Okay, aging, being enough, and self-acceptance. Some of you guys are literally, with the card aging, it's all about, for me, it's about right now. That this point in my life, the timing is right for me to step into who I want to be, who I need to be, who I've been called to be, okay? One of the cards um, piles was about potential. I think it was the second one. This one is not about potential. It's the fact that you are exactly who um, you are your, your own potential right now. Like you are the maximum capacity, but you just need to step into it. You just need to do it. It's, I'm also hearing the word discipline with you guys. So we want to be a little bit more disciplined. We want to take better care of our bodies. Let's say it's not, um, that your partner is already doing it or your career or whatever it is that you're, um, harmonizing with or aligning with at the time of, you know, the Libra new moon. Um, it could be the fact that <clears throat> you stepping, like you stepping into your, you know, what is going to make you feel better is going to mirror reflect into whatever that vibrational match is for you. So your relationship, whatever you may be looking at your husband, your partner and being like this lump on a log, when is he going to blah, 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 blah. When is she going to do this? And it's like, well, you do it when you do it, it trickles into your partner and they will align with you rapid fire quick if it's a career some of you guys need to step up some of you guys need to make the choice to change your way you have the potential you just keep putting it off putting it off putting it off for another day and spirit says do it now all right so one last card for you guys well i'm gonna do two more Pile number two is going to get so mad at me. You guys are pile number three, but pile number two didn't get additional cards because their message was pretty straightforward. So is yours. yours. Your message for the most part is get up and go now, but I just feel like some of you guys need to hear this. Okay. Listen, look, love doesn't have to be near. Do you know what that means? <laughs> Do you know what that means? It means that, again, this is a space of get up and go, okay? That whatever it is, no matter how far away it is, no matter how far away it is, you think it is, that as soon as you start moving, as soon as you start getting it going, get setting it the ball into motion, it will literally like rapid fire to you. Absolutely. Sometimes the good is hidden. You can't see it. It could be right underneath, underneath your nose. You can't see it, but when you start becoming a vibrational match, it will make itself known. It will make itself apparent. It will do whatever it takes in order to find you. What's this last card? Ooh, forgive. Forgive. That's this part of heal the ouch. I don't know whose message that is for with the heal the ouch and the card of forgiveness. Listen, of course, anger can always be justified, but then so can forgiveness. Just depends on how much you want from the adventure. 
right? Adventure, that means life. There's some of you guys are really about, you know, really trying to step, did we do this card already? Sanctuary. I, I almost see this card as a sanctuary as a problem. It's like, get out, get out of your safe space. Um, yeah, some of you guys are just, maybe I, I'm getting a sense of, of um, fear of what can happen, fear of success, fear of what will happen when it all goes right. Oh my gosh, soulmate. If this pile doesn't get up and get moving, I'm mad. I'm so mad at you. I'm so mad. Yes, this is a soulmate. Come on. This is so deep. This is so beautiful. I'm scared to flip this card. Make, ah! <laughs> Make the effort. Just means you gotta put yourself out there. That's it, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done, that's your reading. I can't, I have to get up and go. This isn't even my pile. I'm so inspired. You guys have to keep me posted, please. Yo, keep me posted because this one's deep. This one's good. It's good, it's really good, especially at the time of Libra New Moon, I cannot. Ooh, that's juicy. All right, you guys, um, definitely set intention for exactly what it is that you want. I'm definitely seeing this pile working with red candle. Well, whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, it's not just relationships and twin flames. It's career, it's like literally your destiny, your purpose, and it's like, now, go, 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 go. Yeah. Deep, 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 deep. All right, okay, make sure that you're subscribed to the YouTube channel, of course, because there's plenty more vid videos where this came from, and if you're interested in diving deeper into the tarot with me, esoteric symbolism, astrology, numerology, then the Sacred Circle Tarot School is there for you. There's the option for you to opt into live chats or to catch in, in, in those live chats uh, that we do 7 p.m on Tuesdays and the links for all of that will be down below in the description box until then I'll see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching I love you with all of my heart it's a blessing to be here I'll talk to you soon bye